everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. Those of you who've been watching me for a while know that I love panel fabric. I do a lot of panel fabric projects and mostly I show you different holiday panel fabrics. But now I'm going to share with you those non-holiday panel fabrics that I've collected over the years. And some, as I was going through these, I wondered, why did I buy this? But I'm gonna show it to you anyway. It shows that over the years, what we're drawn to does change over time. But my desire for rooster fabric has never gone away. This is so pretty. Now this one, I believe was, I purchased within the last couple of years. Now, where did I buy it? I don't remember. But if you are interested in buying panel fabric, you can go to etsy.com, E-T-S-Y dot com. And there's a large variety of panel fabric, eQuilter.com and fabric.com. Also, many quilt shops have fabric panels like this. So this I intend on making into a wall hanging. I often just go ahead and stitch a simple border around these, put cotton batting on it. I'll either do my own machine quilting or I send it out to a long arm quilter. So let me set this one aside. Now here is this one, Creative Woman. This is me because I, my mind is whirling constantly. I never can shut it off. And sometimes I have a hard time falling asleep at night because it's still thinking of projects that I can sew. So when I saw this, I thought I gotta get it. It's really me. And I hope someday to have this put up on the wall in my sewing room, but we'll see. Okay, I love flowers. This is really, really pretty. I know that I am going to finish this someday. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna make out of it or where I'm gonna use it at, but it really is pretty. I've had this one for a very long time. Now, these next two are, I think it's the same fabric, but just a different color. It was real cute at the time when I bought it. I probably wouldn't have bought it now, but at the time I bought it, I thought it was really cute. And it's friends together doing different activities. And then here's another one that's very similar to it, just in different colors. So these are really cute. This is something you could make for close friends. They probably get a big kick out of it. Now this one, I have no idea what drew me to this one. I know I bought it off the internet. I think I was drawn to the bright colors, but it's not really my kind of style other than the colors. I love bright colors, but someone may like this as a gift. You could make a blanket, a wall hanging, make a table runner out of it. You, it's not that wide where you couldn't make a table runner out of it. Now this panel fabric would be great for a child's quilt for their bed. It's got teddy bears everywhere doing all kinds of things. And I think most of us do like little teddy bears. And this is really cute. Again, I've had this for many, many years. For a while there, teddy bears were very popular on, prod, on fabrics. So at the time when I bought this, teddy bears were big. And then this one, you could make this into pillows or they look more like placemat size. I probably should have bought four because they would really make nice placemats. Or you could just make a mini wall hanging out of it. Could it, uh, put a nice little tab tops on the top, hang it on a really pretty rod, and it would look really nice maybe in a family room. And then here's another one. In the quilt world, there's something called red work. And everything on the quilt is different blocks similar to this. And everything's done in red. It's usually hand embroidered. And I don't do hand embroidery anymore. But for someone who does like to do hand embroidery, you could enhance all of these squares 
by doing some hand embroidery stitches all over this. I started it. It's, I already put a little red border on it, but for some reason, I just never finished it. Now here's some more that you could use as placemats. Now most of these panels you can't get anymore. You just have to go look for what's out there now because most of these were bought a long time ago. But these are really nice. I'm not sure why I didn't buy four because these would make really nice placemats. They're very, very pretty. Now on this one, there's two pieces and I'm assuming they're to make pillows because there's another one on the other side. But why I was drawn to this is that it has little X's. It's cross stitch. And I've done something like this before, except it was a Christmas quilt, and it had the cross stitches all over it. And I literally went over every little X and stitched with embroidery floss on it. And I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. Now I'm gonna flip it over, because this is one, and then I'm gonna flip it over, and then here is the other one that's on it. So again, you can't get this anymore. But I know that I will sit and do this, maybe when I'm really old, but then I wonder, well, what are you now? I'm already old, but I mean when I'm really, really old. You can also find companion fabrics for a lot of these uh, panel pieces. This is also cross-stitch, it goes with it. So you could, if you were gonna make a pillow, you could put this on the back or use this for a border around whatever you decide to do it. And there again, cross stitch all over it. So I just, I really do love this. We were in Hawaii years ago. And while I was there, I found a quilt shop and I bought this in there. And that quilt shop was absolutely beautiful. It had a lot of the Hawaiian applique quilts hanging up on the wall. And I wish I could find the pictures because I'd love to show it to you, but I just loved that store. And I forget what island it was on. But I bought this panel thinking that I would make a wall hanging out of it because at the time, we lived in a little condo in California near the beach. And I was gonna hang this on the guest bedroom in there. Never got around to it. We sold the condo, we don't live there anymore. So not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this one. Now this one, if you like to sew, I'm sure you're drawn to this one. This is people who like to sew. It has a sewing theme to it. So I really like this. This again is a cute little quilt you can make for a friend you know that does sewing. But please remember, you can't get these anymore. So you could look on eBay, you might get lucky and find some of these. But there again, try those websites that I recommended. The links for those websites will be listed below your YouTube screen in case you wanna go look. This one was recent. Here, let me straighten it out. There we go. This one I bought at the Sewing and Quilting Center in St. George, Utah. And isn't this a beautiful panel piece? I would like to make this for my dining room. Just put a beautiful border around it. I just love this. So this is something that you could get possibly now, at least I'm assuming, because I think I bought it within the last two years. And let me look at the name of this real quick, so that because somebody's going to ask me. It is called Plain and Simple by Color Principle for Henry Glass. Henry Glass does a lot of fabric designing. Now this one is one that I actually put together already. I have not finished it. I just ran across it. It's for Valentine's and it says love on it. I added the borders. There's two different borders. There's this one and then I added this one. Then in each corner, I added squares, and in those squares, I put heart appliques. Now there's a process for doing appliques, and if you're interested in machine applique, I will have a video link below your YouTube screen 
I'm not quite sure what my end goal was in this. It was probably just to make a little blanket to hang around the house during the Valentine season. But this was really cute, very sweet. You could even make this for a little girl if you like. Well, I hope you enjoy looking at my stash of panel fabrics. If you'd like to see finished panel fabric projects that I've done, a lot of them are turned into quilts or used for wall hangings. There will be links listed below your YouTube screen, so look for those links down there. Also, if you're just interested in beginner sewing projects, there will also be some links down there for that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and don't forget to go and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.